Guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Hasbro Pulse exclusive Marvel Legends 2-pack set on the Spider-Man 90s TV series Daredevil vs. Hydro-Man VHS 2-pack. Is this an easy cash grab or a worthy repaint set? So far, just from reading the comments in my unboxing video yesterday, a lot of you said that this Daredevil is worthy, but we shall see. I have not opened this yet or the other one, so I will find out soon enough. I like the cover right here. I do keep these boxes on the side. It says Spider-Man, you can see Daredevil and Hydro-Man. And then on the back, you can see product shots for each of the characters right over there. And then you have the faux VHS tapes slide into the side right over here. And then it says Spider-Man on the top. Not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And if you're trying to get your other Marvel Legends, well, you can do so. It'd be big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> And here are the figures out of the packaging. And I gotta say, first impressions over here, I'm a little bit surprised. I'm I'm, I'm liking this Daredevil quite a bit. The Hydro Man's okay. You, you know, we'll, we'll get into all those details in a minute. But I don't know what happened as far as my memory and the accessories that come with this figures, or, or these figures anyway. I just forgot that we got so much coming with daredevil but anyway let's get a closer look at those accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the figures quite a bit of daredevil accessories over here hydro man not as much stuff but we have seen these accessories before and these are painted way better than they were last time well last time they didn't really have that much paint at all or any it's just the translucent plastic this one actually has some white paint on it you can see a little bit of the spray right over there so i think that looks very cool they are specific to each side but i was able to use them on the arms and have some fun with them like that so that was pretty cool and then you can see we have interchangeable hands so that's great to have uh, i do like having these but damn i really wish they were able to give us swappable arms with the last one that would have been really neat swappable waists there's just so much interchangeability with hydro man that they're missing out on over at hasbro but look at this head sculpt well the paint apps anyway the head sculpt is exactly the same as it was with the three pack version oh god this is so embarrassing but you're gonna see me figure it out later on how these are not the same exact head sculpts they look the same but they are not you could see it's much more apparent when you look at them from the side we have some extra lines sculpted right there on the face he's got more of a frown over here than this one right over here but i love the hatching or these lines right over here I think the flesh tone looks really good. We'll get into the paint apps more, but for whatever reason, I forgot that we were getting this extra angry Daredevil head sculpt. I really like this. This definitely feels more like a comic-inspired figure than the animated version. You know, I know it's promoted to be an animated figure, but these little dots right here, that's comic book all over it, right? Oh, that looks great. And then we get, you know, the set of fisted hands. We got baton holding hands like we got last time, but this time we get these new wide open hands, which I'm really happy to have. I feel like I've seen at least one of these hands before with these two fingers kind of close together. I do like the wrinkles that we're seeing in the gloves over here too. Looks pretty realistic. So very happy to have these. We hadn't had these before with the Daredevil figure, so here they are. Uh, we have the same baton set up and everything. Uh, the rope is the same except just a darker color so you know same deal you could take these off right over here and he has storage right over here on the side <laughs> So I gotta say, I like this Hydro Man head sculpt. It's a brand new head sculpt. Looks very animated series looking. I love the touches of white over here on the hair. And the details on the face too. The lips, the teeth, the eyes, the eyebrows. I think this is just a really cool looking head sculpt. Uh, just to compare it to the last version we got, you know, big difference right over there. It was fun putting this head on this body. Damn, I'm tempted to like paint this black. Having a black t-shirt on this figure would be really cool, but I have to point out I do like the white portions that they have over here for the wrinkles on the figure. I think that's just really cool looking. Uh, we have these arms added to the figure, whereas last time we had just these ones right here. God, it would be so cool to swap these out. You know, it, they just don't have a way of doing that at the moment, and that just frustrates me. At least the color of blue is fairly consistent, though, so I really do appreciate that. Uh, the pants are 
are the same sculpt and everything, but we have more of those little highlights, you know, throughout with the white over the blue plastic. And I think that's very cool. You can kind of see the texturing in there. Not a whole lot to say as far as the paint applications go. It just looks neat having the translucent figure, but damn it. Ah, I wish, yeah, we, we could make some swappability options going go on over here. I'm tempted. I mean, I have two of these. I was thinking of selling the extra one, but now I'm tempted to just at least paint the shirt black on this you know that'd be kind of cool right i don't know what do you guys think at least just having the black shirt <laughs> okay this is probably the best bait and switch ever i feel like they promoted this as a cartoon figure but this is definitely more of a comic looking figure in my opinion this is just how i remember daredevil with tons of shadowing over the red sections none on the gloves or the boots this looks great man Oh, I love all these angles right here with the paint apps. These little lines right here, that just did not come through the product images. We got some cross hatching right over there. I just didn't expect to see all of these little lines. This is just a huge improvement compared to what they've done in the past. Like even compared to one of my favorite ones right here, you know, the animated Spider-Man. Still nowhere near as good as what we're seeing on this. But again, I feel like this is intentionally more of a comic look. I really like this a lot. This is dope. But this is very, very cool. We have paint on the back of the figure. Not a whole lot down here. Not on the butt. We get some right over here on the front of the pouch right there. But this looks sick, man. Ample amounts of paint throughout on the figure. I feel like they did not cheap out on that part at all. I really, really like it, man. I did hear about some people having pieces that are missing paint apps. I think Manny mentioned something about missing paint right here. On one of the legs but yeah mine's just fine having no paint on the boots that's just fine reminds me of the comics same thing with the gloves right over here and the other thing is that the dd just stands out a little bit better too having all that black around it it just looks sick man i'm i'm happy <laughs> So I'm not going to do an articulation segment. We know what both of these figures do over here. I will mention, though, in desperation trying to get this to split in half, I accidentally loosened the hell out of this joint right here. So uh, be mindful if you're trying to take things apart. I mean, I know what I'm up to when I when I do stuff like that. There's a risk involved. So anyway, as you can see, Hydro Man is standing just a bit under the 7-inch mark right there. And we have Daredevil standing right at about... I don't know, six, uh, it's a little under six and a half inches tall. Then here's our Hydro Man comparison. I guess this is our comic version. There's your cartoon version. But yeah, I wish we could swap the parts between these aside from the heads, you know, but you can do that with the heads for sure. It, it is kind of cool. I, I do like it. It. I just, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to paint that. And I did get that cannonball accessory, which I still haven't painted yet. And by the way, I did use that Namor base uh, and, and tried playing around with that. It's very, very tricky to do. I also wanted to compare this figure to some of the Tamashi effects. Here's the Namor effect piece. So you can see, you know, each of them is a different kind of blue. Uh, kind of blue is a great album that you should all listen to if you haven't already. But yeah, that... Uh, you know, they work together, kind of. And for a Daredevil comparison, I had to bring out my first favorite Daredevil figure, which is the Toy Biz Spider-Man series Daredevil, which I had actually picked up before any Marvel Legends. I think it was the Magnetic Hand Spidey uh, comic figure, this, and then Series 3 Wolverine. And then here we have the three-pack Daredevil, of course, utilizing the same body mold and everything, and uh, this is just so badass. Is this my favorite Daredevil figure of all time? It might be. It might be, I, I don't, I, I hate to say it so early on, I just got the figure, but, oh man, I, I really love this Daredevil figure. Oh, and a little observation over here is I do feel like the head sits a little bit higher on this neck for some reason compared to this one, right? Aren't you seeing just a little bit more neck here than this, which I prefer slightly shorter neck on this one, but what's going on there? I, I don't really get it. There should be no difference. Same head sculpt, same body sculpt. So I don't know why I'm seeing that. Is it different? It is different. Oh yeah, see? It's just the way they dug out the hole in the inside. It's not the same freaking head sculpt. Damn! I thought it was the same head sculpt. It's not. Uh, this one's frowning. This one's not. Wow. Then here's Daredevil and Hydro Man next to our two retro card vintage collection or animated series Spider-Man figures. This is the 2021 or 2021. And then here's the Walmart exclusive. Thanks again, Alpha Magnus. And I really like how these two look side by side over here. Now, I do love the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man for sure. I, I really do. I, I still love this figure. 
But, oh man, when I see Daredevil next to these two Spider-Men, I mean, it just looks cooler right over here. I think this is my new favorite Marvel Legends Spider-Man, to be honest with you. But I really love this one a lot. I, I don't know. It's, I'm, still, I'm still confused. Damn. But yeah, seeing these two side by side like this, I don't know. This just works for me. I like Spider-Man being a little bit shorter than Daredevil. Then here's Daredevil and Hydro Man next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, Hydra Man! Hey, I know a good water joke. Hey, you want to hear it? It goes like this. Hey, what did the fire hydrant say to the sprinkler, huh? Got any- ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, I ask you to simply clicking that like button, and if you're new here, well, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you stay up to date with all my content, and I gotta say thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it, and hopefully this video helps you in your purchase-making decision. I really like this two-pack set. I mostly really like the Daredevil more than anything else, but I really like Hydro Man a lot. Like, that character's origin story is straight out of a horror movie. I mean, he gets Spider-Man's attention by scaring the hell out of people and showing up in their drains and their showers and all kinds of stuff. So, anyway, I like Hydro Man a lot, and that does skew my opinion. So I'm happy to have another Hydro Man, even though it does not satisfy me. Like, I really want you know, an all-out Hydro Man figure with all kinds of interchangeable parts. I would love to see Mafex go hard on a Hydro Man. Oh man, that would be great. But, that aside, this Daredevil figure, totally different story. I really love this Daredevil figure. It makes me really happy. I'm just staring at it right now and just get giddy over it. I like it. It reminds me of how he looks in the books, or, you know, some of the books anyway. And I think it's just a very cool Daredevil figure. I'm, I wish the head or both the heads could sit a little bit lower on the neck. Um, I don't have many gripes about the figure aside from that, to be honest with you. Maybe it could have used a little bit more paint on the back. I know some people experience QC issues, but like for me, I'm having a great time with this Daredevil figure, and I'm going to rate these figures separately. Now, you do have to buy them together to get them, but, you know, people sell stuff on eBay all the time, right? So you could possibly get one or the other, you know, by itself but you know for the moment i'm keeping my extra two pack by the way so at the price point of around what 25 bucks per figure this set cost around 50 55 bucks i'm gonna give the daredevil figure a sud rating of <laughs> then i'm gonna give the hydro man a sud rating of it's not so bad and i'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comments section below if you want to see the latest marvel news you can find it all over at marvel news.com and if you want to follow me on social media you can find me on instagram twitter twitch and tiktok and i will catch you guys later peace that's crispy hey new short miss prime videos hey you should click one yeah, click on one of them or subscribe if you haven't